Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of August. So, we are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, this is being recorded in July, towards the beginning of July. This reading is not for July, okay? It is for August. So, this has not happened yet, okay? So, Let's just see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August? One card, please. Awareness. So this is the Magician card. So you will be highly aware this month. You have a divine connection. You will be taking action to bring success to your life, willing to shed the old to bring in the new. This is somebody that um, takes action, okay? Uh, somebody that is very skilled, okay? You're, you're finding those skills. You're finding those resources within you. Uh, very, very powerful month for you. I think that you will be in control. You will be in power. You will be in charge this month. There is high awareness here, okay? Highly aware of your surroundings, highly aware of what is going on. You will be manifesting something. Um, you may be uh, getting something that you asked for because this is as above, so below, or you're just the beginning, the manifestation process. You are uh, doing this month. That you are, you are doer. You are being a doer this month. It's like nobody can be in your way. You are doing whatever it takes to bring success to your life, and you will be successful because you're finding those resources within to be successful. Um, very, very determined this month. Determined to, you know, manifest, okay? And you. this is a oneness. It's a oneness with the universe. So that means you do have a divine connection this month. Um, your prayers are being heard is what I'm trying to say. And you're using your power. You're using your resources to manifest, okay? Your thoughts become things. So whatever you're thinking is becoming, okay? But you got to remember with manifestation, you can't put a name on things. So you may be, say you're manifesting one thing, but the universe may bring you something a little bit different. Just keep that in mind. So what do we have for Pisces for August? What do we have for Pisces for August? Carriage. A journey, either mental or physical. Key, successful outcome to your problems. You are going to be successful this month. Rose, romance is in the air, Pisces. Wishbone, a wish is granted. This is beautiful, okay? So it looks like August is going to be a good month. This is a wish being granted as well. So one of your wishes is going to be granted. It may have to do with your love life. Um, successful outcome. You are going to be successful to whatever it is that you're doing. And it's because you're taking action. Okay. You are taking a journey. You're getting to a better place by the looks of things. Um, whatever it is, it looks really, 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 really good. Okay. Um... Ro Rose is a symbol of romance. So something romantic is happening this month. Um, something that you asked for. Um, what do we have for Pisces? Oh, that came flying out. Three of Wands reversed. So this is unprepared not prepared, lack of foresight, didn't see, somebody didn't see. There may have been some wasted time. Somebody wasn't seeing the opportunities. There's been some sort of delay here. There has. Ooh, tower. So a tower is a major life change. It's a major event. Okay, major disruption, destruction. Uh, false foundations crumbling down. This is a blessing in disguise. So you may not have seen that something crumbling was actually a blessing in, in disguise. 
okay? This is a major life event that allows you or forces you to start over. It forces you to rebuild. It forces you to build a stronger foundation, okay? So this is like a hurricane coming in or, or a tornado that wapes something out. Okay, something is being waped out, and it was waped out for a reason. This is a universe card. This is, uh, you know, a fated event that is out of your control that breaks down a false sense of security, okay? It wasn't built strong. It wasn't built to last in the universe. This is a universe card. It's coming to, to take it out, okay? This is being, something is being taken from your life that uh, doesn't serve you, and you probably were thinking that it was stable you were thinking that it was secure but it wasn't and this is lack of foresight i think that you were probably indecisive or you were in a stagnant period you know uh with whatever this situation is but it's about if it hasn't crumbled already i feel like it is about to crumble and it's going and when it hits it's going to be messy okay this is messy because it it just like it's a it's a this is like a disaster, okay? When this when this tornado comes in, it is a disaster. It's like, you know, you might have to call in the cleanup crew or something like that. You know, I'm not sure what this is, but it, it may have to do with your your establishment. It could be a business, could be a home, um, it could be internally, okay? Um, whatever this is, it's it's like the universe is is going to be changing your. Uh, structure okay because this is a structure that is crumbling down ah five of wands reverse now this is the end of the struggle that's letting go okay you've been going back and forth you've been maybe you've been in some sort of competition you know this competition is over this this is going to allow you to let go so the universe is saying it's time for you to let go you gotta let go this is this has been you know it's it's hurt your hands you know, it's it's caused some sort of uh, bleeding. I, I don't know what this is, what this is, but there's some sort of. I feel like there's bleeding. I don't know what that means, but anyhow, um, this is letting go. No more fighting. No more playing games. No more back and forth. It's the end. It's the end of that struggle. The uni and this is the like I know I keep mentioning the universe, be and I don't know why. Um, because it's time. It's time for you to let go of this false sense of security that has caused you so much uh, anxiety. It's been a strong competition. It is. And it's, this is letting go. No more competition. Letting go of the competition. Ah, this is messy. Okay, the Four of Wands reverses. This is cleanup time. And I knew it is. Because this is, means the party is over. The honeymoon is over. The celebration is over and it's time to clean up the mess. Okay, so whatever is happening is, and maybe you've been in a messy situation and maybe your life is a mess. I don't know. It's time to clean up this mess. It is. It's, it's, this commitment is over. This contract is over. This marriage is over. This relationship is over. This, whatever it is, this is, this is, it's over. Okay, it's over. It is. It's done. It's done. It's done playing. It's time. It's, I'm done going back and forth. Okay, done going back and forth. Uh, it's about to. If it hasn't crumbled already, it's about to. Ah, eight of wands reverse. Now this is. You're not going to be ready for it. It's going to be very, 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 very sudden. Okay, this is a uh, shock. It's going to be a shock to you. Um, this is. Uh, blocked no communication no contact somebody may be end up being blocked no no more communication coming in they just whether it's you or the other person somebody gets blocked Whatever this competition was, it was very, there was a lot of jealousy here. Ooh, the devil, very materialistic energy, greed, obsessed, ego, and false next to the tower. The universe is going to give somebody a blow to their ego, 
This is going to be somebody who is obsessed. This is greed. This is obsession. Under a lot of social pressure. And it may have something to do with a house or an establishment or something like that. The devil is a card and you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Gemini. And this, this doesn't have to be you. It could be the other person. I don't know. I think it's you though. You are taking action to bring success to your life. Or somebody has manifested something, whether it's you or the other person. This person has a divine connection. Okay? Has a connection with the universe. Somebody and has been asking for something. So, which is very interesting. Anyhow, the devil card is a card of obsession. It is a card of uh, greed and lust and so social pressure. Somebody built a false foundation based on ego because this is the main card of ego and all is not as it seems. This really isn't stable. It really isn't secure and it's about to crumble. Somebody has been living in the shadow and they've been and it, and it was it was good. Okay. The shadow was good. It was hiding. It was hiding. There was lack of foresight. There was somebody was hide somebody whoever. Uh, was able, somebody was able to pretend, okay, they were able to pretend, but they aren't going to be able, this is, this is like, they're not going to be able to pretend. The instability is going to be shown. Now, the devil is um, tempted, tempted by greed, by lust, by obsessions. Could be some addictions here as well. Somebody may have some sort of addictions, that cause a major disruption. Okay, this is a disruption. It is, and it is a big one. Ah, foolish behavior. Some foolish, foolish. Somebody made a, is do, some, this is reckless. This is heading for a fall. Somebody is, this is heading for a fall. We have somebody here that has made a foolish decision. They made, this is poor judgment. This is lack of judgment. And this is unprepared as well. So we have unprepared. Somebody is unprepared for a major event to happen. This event is about to happen, whatever it is. There could also be some unfinished business here, okay, with the fool reversed. There's been no communication or no contact or something like that. Or there's going to be. This could be a sudden departure as well. Not even. This really could be a sudden departure. Somebody foolishly let ego get in the way. He did. Now the devil is all about greed. Seriously. That's a reckless behavior. Gonna fall down. Gonna gonna fall. This is a fall as well. Somebody's about to fall. They may fall, and you don't see it coming. Something is going on. Um, ooh, a lie is being exposed. This is exposure. Somebody's gonna be exposed. They've been they've been uh, protecting themselves. In some sort of denial. There's definitely been a delay. There's been some sort of postponement. There's been some overwhelming fears. I think that you've been fearful. Or somebody that you're dealing with is fearful. This is somebody that is blocked. Again, blocked and blocked. So we have blocked a couple times. But this is opening up. This is, this is overwhelming fears. Somebody was choosing the safest option. Blocking their emotions, totally blocking their emotions. But this is the mask coming off and seeing the truth. Now, this is uh, unrealistic. This is a dead end. This is somebody is really, really unsatisfied. Something you know, they aren't getting what they thought they were going to get. They didn't nurture something. They didn't take care of it. They were they were in so much of some sort of denial. They they were. This is denial. 
but now there's something there's 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 some sort of truth that is coming out about an investment that uh isn't working out somebody let their ego and their pride get in the way and this invest investment isn't working out this is a, a loss of money or something like that. The Seven of Pentacles reverse. Somebody didn't put in enough effort. It doesn't have to be money. It could be anything. Somebody didn't put in enough effort. They didn't try hard enough. They don't work hard enough. Uh, they don't take care of business. Very lazy. This is somebody that is holding on to anxiety and resentment. They have been for some time. They've been blocking their emotions, blocking their own truth. Somebody has been in some sort of freaking denial. Refusing to accept the truth, refusing to see the truth. Very, very stubborn energy. But there's some sort of being blocked here. Blocking emotions. Somebody has blocked their true emotions. In the name of greed. There's greed here. But this is falling down. Some This is falling, falling. It is. Somebody's ego is going to call them, is going to cause them to fall. This is the end of the competition. There's nothing, no party here. This is messy. It is messy. This is a, this is cleanup time. The honeymoon is over. The marriage is over. No contact, no communication. Somebody acted foolishly. They may this. There could be some sort of uh, for some of you. Uh, this could be of a sexual nature. Could be a third party. Just saying um, that exposes something, and it doesn't have to be sexual. It could be addictions. Could be drugs. There's going to be some sort of exposure here. This is lies being exposed that cause a major upset. Somebody's going to tell, okay? They're going to tell, whatever that means. They're going to tell something. Which is going to cause this fall from grace, this fall from power. Somebody is going to tell something that causes a major uproar. Ooh. Ah. The King of Wands, King of Swords reverse. This is somebody that doesn't care at all. This guy, this the King of Swords is an individual, it's a person that really doesn't care about feelings. I don't care about your feelings at all. Nope. Definitely not about your feelings. Okay, this is and this is very cold, hard, and uncaring individual. This person is going to reveal something. They're going to reveal something about uh, I don't know what it is. It's about a foolish, reckless action. Somebody did something stupid. They did something. This is stupid. They did something really stupid. And this could be somebody in the law. This could be. It could be a lawyer. Doesn't have to be. This is. But whoever this person is, they don't care. They really, 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 really don't care about your feelings. And they are going to reveal something. It has something to do with the home or the money or something like that. Or the establishment. Somebody does something stupid. It feels like they, they, it gets revealed and it causes this major disruption. It causes somebody to let go, you know. King of Wands. Interesting. I wanted to call this one the King of Wands, remember? So we're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Or and an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aries a couple times. We also have Capricorn. We have Gemini. Um, anyhow, this person gonna get angry, very, very, very angry. Somebody gonna get angry, very, very, very angry. Okay.
This could be a fight. The tower could be a fight. There could be a, definitely an argument here. Ooh, the moon reversed on the bottom. This is reality, Jack. Truth's being revealed. Something's going to come out this month. Something is going to come out. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed this month that causes a major uproar in your home or your family or your business or whatever it is. There's definitely going to be a disagreement. I can see that. There's been some lies. Somebody has been hiding something. They've been hiding. They have. The devil is about hiding. It's all about obsession. And it's obsess obsession with money. Greed, materialism, they've been, they've been scheming, okay? Somebody has been scheming. I think you are going to become aware, or somebody is. Somebody, there's awareness here. Somebody is going to become aware of this scheme. And they're about to get a reality check. You can't hide it. We are dealing with a very sneaky individual here that is getting away with something and it's about to come out. But this rose card, reality check. This is a reality check, seeing the truth. Romance is in the air. A wish is being granted. This wish breaks you free. And maybe that's what you've been wishing for. Maybe you've been wishing for freedom. Maybe you've been wishing for freedom from, you know, an abusive situation. You are going to be broken free from that abusive situation. You are. This is broken free. This is abuse. And this is freedom as well. It really is. You are going to be broken free from an abuse. And this, you know, but I think there's been a lot of fear. Fear of even going your own way. But I think the universe says this is false. It's not serving you. We're going we're gonna to break it down. It's probably going to hurt. So that you can be free. And I feel like it must have something to do with, with love. Okay. Because this card is here. You deserve love. Right. Everybody does. You don't want to. You can't be staying in a false sense of security. Because it's safe. Anyhow, um, this is going to be a very eventful month for you. I think there's there's going to be, you're going to be letting go of something that you have been holding on to that is based on false pretenses. I think it's out of your control. I think that uh, the universe is going to bring that tornado in. It's, it's going to come in like a tornado. You really aren't going to be prepared for it. You don't even see it coming. Okay, you don't see it coming. It's almost like you're gonna, you may have to rebuild, you may have to move, you may have to go someplace else or something like that. Um, good luck. Sorry, I didn't zoom that in, but. I just, I just happened to look at this card again. A journey, either physical or mental. Absolutely. You are going to be going on a journey. Because wherever you've been is based on false uh, pretenses. It's a false sense of security. It's a false foundation. It's not stable. It's insecure. It's not serving you. And the universe says, boom! Time for a change. Good luck.